Hello everybody. <laughs> oh, I got tagged. Uh, kind of pressed for time. I <clears throat> did this once already, but for some reason my camera malfunctioned and uh, nothing. Uh, I wasn't able to download anything. But uh, today I'm, I'm transplanting some plants into four-inch cups. Uh, let's get right to it. I've got to uh, got to finish this. And this one here is uh, amazing cauliflower. We'll see how amazing it is. But uh, the ten questions. I was tagged by uh, Robertson's Belly Acres. I'll go over and check them out. They're uh, also in Oklahoma. But the first question is, what got me into homesteading? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I was just kind of been a way of life, pretty much my whole life. Grew up in the country. So, uh, just kind of carried on. And I liked uh, being outside not something uh, that I I chose later in life you know this is uh, always part of my life okay question number two uh, I'm gonna have to try to keep the answers brief I don't have unlimited internet <laughs> and it'll take me uh, forever to get this thing uploaded if I don't keep it short what's something I want to add to my homestead in 2020 well, I'm going going to add another greenhouse. I don't know if I planned on it or not, but uh, it just kind of worked out that way. I would really like to add some water catchment to the barns. I uh, always get sidetracked with something else. And it came up, I was able to purchase uh, this other greenhouse because uh, sold my cows and I had a lot of excess hay in the barn and I went ahead and uh, sold that hay while I could and I'm going to use that money to build that other greenhouse which it, uh, it should be here next week sometime we'll see question number three what's the most difficult lesson you've had to learn so far while homesteading well so far, the most difficult one, I would say, is uh, I'm not able to do a lot of things I used to, uh, physically. <laughs> That's probably the biggest one. Getting old uh, seems to affect everybody different. All right, no, question number four. What's your favorite chore on the homestead? Well, I don't know. Uh, probably going out and checking the garden. Probably uh, my favorite. In winter time, I don't really have a favorite chore. It's just uh, I don't like cold weather. Uh, question number five: What's my favorite thing to grow? And, uh, this probably surprised some people, <laughs> but uh, I like to grow onions. It, uh, it can be a challenge sometimes to grow onions because uh, the weather affects them so much, and we have such uh, wild temperature swings here that uh, sometimes it can be almost impossible to get a. a a big bulb on an onion just to see how big I can get that bulb there's lots of uh, information on the internet on, on growing onions I'm in zone 7 uh, in Oklahoma southeast part of Oklahoma I just uh, finished planting my onions yesterday about a week behind schedule. But they're an easy crop, also once you uh, once you get them planted. 
basically all you have to do is keep them weeded. And, uh, when it comes time to harvest them, all you got to do is pull them up. And so there's not a lot of uh, skill involved. It's not like you have to pick them uh, multiple times throughout the season. It's just, uh, you just pick them one time and you're done. Question number six. What do you most what do you love most about the homesteading community? I just say it's just because of like minded people, you know, having the same interests. Uh, but, uh, the gardening channels, you know, uh, I probably like to watch them more, uh, just to uh, see how how well their uh, their crops are doing. I've been uh, I've been doing you know this type of thing for for a long time. A lot of the, the newer channels are are quite a bit younger than I am. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Uh, what is your favorite meal that you make? Uh, I don't know. You know uh, something fried. <laughs> uh, probably one of them I don't make very often would be uh, barbecue ribs. Just because it's kind of expensive to purchase uh, pork ribs. Uh, let's move on to the question. I'm trying to keep this video short. What is your favorite holiday? Well, I don't really, I'm really not a holiday person. They've uh, commercialized uh, the holidays so much, it's just kind of a big turnoff anymore. No, I'm not a big holiday person. Okay, is your uh, question number nine? Is your homestead where you intend to settle permanently, or are you looking to create a new one elsewhere? No, this is uh, this is it. And the last question: uh, What are some of the homesteaders that you follow and enjoy learning from? Well. I don't even know that I, I would say I follow any of them. You know, I watch some of them, but uh, I said mainly I'm interested in gardening uh, channels more than uh, than animals. Uh, but but uh, one of them is would be uh, CBs greenhouse and garden he does an outstanding job with his hydroponics uh, it's, uh, it's amazing what he's uh, accomplished over the years uh, how he's developed his system and uh, one of them uh, that I was following I don't know we'll see uh, <clears throat> what happens in the future he ran into a snag with his area he was growing and he put his greenhouses up and that would be uh, a little dirt never hurt he's up in Canada kind of he's uh, started doing the farmers markets last year and trying to get into his groove and, uh, there's probably a lot of us uh, that would like to uh, see see how he does this year and what he uh, comes up with. Uh, you know, that's two. I, I don't know what didn't say how many. But, uh, but that's, uh, that's kind of kind of my answers. I know they're short and sweet, <laughs> but uh, say the, trying to upload a 20-minute video would take me two days. 
Well, I'm not going to tag anybody else. Uh, I'm just going to leave this as an open invitation if you would like to, uh, to answer these questions. Uh, by all means, <laughs> go ahead and uh, let us know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. <laughs>